So back with another video and today I'm doing it solo. Sheena's at work and I had a topic to talk about. And I was like, you know, let me get it out the way. I don't know if the car is too loud, so I'm gonna turn it off. Yeah. I feel like um everybody should be working. And everybody should be um splitting the bills 50-50. And I know a lot of people who's watching this who know me are probably like, what? That's not what you think or whatever. But I had a, I had a discussion a couple nights ago, you know, a debate or whatever. Kind of like, you know, how guys aren't appreciative and females aren't appreciative and how we don't give as much as we think that we should in the relationship and this, that, and the third so once I really got to like understand the man's mind in that um, moment, it completely changed my perspective of like, um, he should pay all the rent, he should pay all the bills. And it even changed my perspective on when um, you guys should be living together officially, you know, because... You know, I used to think, you know, the men is providers, so they should be paying all the um, bills. They should be paying the rent, whatever, whatever, blah, say, blah. And the females got to cook and clean and take care of the children and cater to her man, you know. And then um, when I had that conversation, you know, because I felt like some a lot of guys in this generation today feel like they don't have to. Um, once they're good providers, they don't necessarily have to um, go hard as far as like treating you how you want to be treated or um, doing much in the relationship because they feel like once, you know, they're paying all the rent and the bills you know, that's enough. Like you should be, you should just appreciate that and don't ask for anything more, you know? And I, I totally disagree with that. And I feel like, you know, just cause you're a good provider, or whatever, don't mean that that's all you have to bring to the table because like, but, well, what happens when the female is paying all her rent and all her bills and you're not helping her financially? Like, how does that, um, help you? Like what happens to you after that? Like, what, what do you have to bring to the table now when she don't need you financially? Like, and now you are going to have to work harder. You are going to have to take her out. You are going to um have to cater to her love languages and stuff like that. Because now you really have to compete because this woman is pretty much doing your part, you know. So now you do have to try harder in the relationship. So, yeah, after that conversation, I, you know, I realized that and not only in this generation, mostly because in the Matrix, you know, a lot of people are still mentally enslaved and stuff like that. And I feel like, you know, it's best for the female to be working too and to have her own thing going on, you know, like get your, get your own crib, girl. And until he put a ring on it, you know, until he know like, okay, I'm ready to be more than just your... um just your man, I want to be your husband, your provider, then, you know, you guys could make it official and move in together and stuff. Don't go running quick to um, making a commitment as far as sharing your space with somebody for the rest of your life and didn't even feel like it was, you know, necessary to commit to you, you know, like propose to you or whatever the sense might be. 
So with that being said, yeah, when you are doing for yourself, now the guy actually got to work harder to get you. They actually got to work harder to keep you and stuff because they have no excuse now. It's no, oh, I'm too tired to do this or do that because, you know, I got to pay the rent for us and I got to pay the bills for us. And, you know, that's my main focus and this and that and the third. No, now their main focus is going to be when you guys are together. It's going to be, you know, to really treat you how you want to be treated and stuff like that. So, yeah, it's best when... um Pretty much you have your own thing going on. You have your own crib. You know, you're financially independent. And then when it comes to finding a man, he'll appreciate you more and want to do more and want to, you know, show more effort into the relationship. I mean, if you were independent, yeah, because now you're not a dependent, you know, because a lot of guys might feel like you're a dependent, like a relationship is a, the females are dependent. I have to pay the bills and stuff like that for her and da, 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 da. No. And then I also feel like when he do propose to you and you guys live, start living together and moving together, that you guys um, should go 50 50 on the rent and the bills or he pays the rent and you, the, and you pay the bills you know, whichever way it's going to be, because like I said, it might be a burden for him. It might, you know, some people is not equipped. Some people can't handle it. Some people can't, you know, they, they don't, they, some people is good as providers, but they're not good as husbands. Some people is good as husbands, but they're not good as providers. And some people suck at both, you know, don't jump into the relationship with him doing everything and no, be independent. Okay. Do your own thing. Simple. And I feel like that should be in the same thing in the poly relationship too. Like both females have a job, do your own thing, help pay um bills or whatever. Until you guys start having babies, you know? And nobody could disrespect you. Nobody could feel like their position is more important or more higher. Because they handling this, that, and the third. So yeah. Do your own thing. Until there's a marriage comp um, proposal, a marriage commitment. Simple. I'm about to get something to eat. I think I want some Haitian patties. Yeah, I'm Haitian. For those who don't know. That's pretty much, I mean, it's a short video. It's not really much I had to say about it, you know? If um, Sheena was here, she probably would have had some inputs. But so, yeah, that's pretty much how I feel about it. You know, you guys might feel different. So if you guys have, you know, any opinions or if you want to go live, you feel like this should be a live conversation. We can do that as well. If you guys have any topics or suggestions that you guys want to make on me talking about. We can also do that. Um, yeah, don't be shy. Hit me up, you know. Ask for advice. I take advice too. You know? Thank you for watching. And see you guys next time. Oh. You guys like my chain? Don't forget to check out my shop. You know? Go get you some nice stuff. Okay? I got the hookup.